Welcome to Fiery Graphics Tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to create a phone release flyer. We'll be looking at how to design an Infinix or Template official release flyer. Now let's get started into the video. Okay, now that we are on our Pixel Lab app, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna know how we will have to know the size of what we want to design. Now it's not gonna be in square form. I want it to be in a rectangle form. So I'm going to go over to this side of the the app on this icon with three dots, and I'm going to click on it. Click on it. I'll see image size. I'll go there, and then I'll change this width and height to the size I want it to be. I'll change the width to five. That's what I want, and the height to four yeah and this is what i want so i'll go ahead to de delete this now first of all i have to bring in the background i want to use for this design and we know where to get our background from from this um side i can click on it click on it to go to image import and we get the image we want from our gallery so now this is the image and um, we have to stretch it from the side so it will cover the everything with the space we want and now the next thing i don't want the background to cover the entire space i want a part to be white so um there will be information we need to put there that will make very that will make sense okay so i'll get a shape clicking on this shape too i'll get a rectangular shape i'll draw it too i'll extend it Okay, I'll extend it. That's just what I need. I'll extend it. Okay, I think this is okay. Okay, now to avoid them moving around when we want to design other things, I will lock it. And this is the lock too. So you can go here to lock. Clicking on this to see different options. Now on this stuff that looks like a padlock, this will be lock. And if you're not touching your screen on the images none of them will be moving so the second thing we need to do is to import our phone the phone we want to design the things or template sample we want to use for this so as usual we we'll go to our import icon and get it from our this it so we place it well place it well okay something like this Okay, so we'll also lock it to avoid it moving. Now, the next thing we are going to have to do also to import our Infinix logo. Okay, so we go to our import and to our download, we check for our Infinix logo. This is it. Now, now, there are some things we have to touch on this logo. Now, this logo, I can't use all of them. I just need the, white, the Infinix part. The white part has to go. Now, remember how we in if you have watched the video on how to use pixel lab you that you can easily remove this white part by clicking on erase color and the white part is off now click on the erase color it's off but now if i discover that the infinix part the white part there has also left and it's not gonna be good because it needs to be white so what do we do then okay so what we do just something very easy now we're going to get a white but a white circle a white circle we have to reduce the size then make it to go to the back of the logo very creative so we we'll go to our layer icon now we drag we drag this thing down drag here this is where we drag okay so when we drag we we'll move it down find that the white part has gone to the back and what else we do we match the two things together you know how we match we click on that icon below here and we click on this icon here with good and multiplication so we click on it and we click good on the things we want to match and click we're good to go so we found that we have already matched together even the infinix part is now white so with this we can actually reduce the color reduce the size now one thing we need to know in design is that design has to be arranged and so we want to align our text we want everything that will be on the left side of our design to be on a straight line like to to be as if it's if, if it's originating from a straight line so we can use grid lines to achieve that click on this um icon 
click on this icon here the grid lines clicking on it you find that everything is now this we also click on this icon now to set our grid lines we drag this one to the point we want it to be i think here is good for me so i can close it so this line now i've created is where i want everything i'm going to design this flyer to reach next from okay so i move this And what's the next thing we need to do? Next thing we need to do is to bring in our text. Our text. We type in in Phoenix. Okay. Now we're going to choose the font we need for this in Phoenix. We go to our fonts, pick a nice font. Now I'm I'm going to go with this Outone Trial Bold. Okay. Now. I'm also going to give it a black color, a black coloration. Okay. Yeah. And I, I do think that we're going to make it to start from the same line. The grid line we have drawn is going to start from there. Okay. Then play. Okay, so we're going to reduce this one the size. And place it where it ought to be. Sorry for this. We instead of the black, we're gonna make it white. Yeah, perfect. So we have gotten this part of design now. Another thing we're going to add to it to this is something like an official release. Write its official release so that those who will be seeing the flyer will know it's an official flyer. Okay. Now instead of using this font, we're going to use a, the the tiny part font, the font of it, this this one. And we're going to also rotate it, use the oblique type, okay, and reduce the size. Right. So that's it. Now the next thing we're going to be doing is to include specifications for the phone. Specifications for the phone include um, the battery size, the um, DRAM, the camera. So we're going to be getting the icons we're using for this. Um, let's go to an import team for this. So with all the icons we need, we're going to get started. First of all, we're going to for this battery, we're going to erase the color so we can get the the black part only okay so we can have it here we can reduce the size okay okay then the next one is this second also going to erase the color all of them then we also reduce the size and move it down. Then we also going to bring this erase the color for the camera so it is the size and bring it down
Okay, having done this, there's something I want to do. I want to use uh, more of a, a box to cover up everything like we saw in the templates. Now, I'm going to go to shapes and size the box the way I want it and scroll down. I'll give it a stroke. One or two. I think I should increase the stroke. Then I raise the color. And on this stroke, so something like this. Okay, now I can now write the specifications by the side of it okay i think we should reduce it a bit okay Also, have to reduce this order. So, having reduced the size, we'll be using it for this. Now, for the battery, the size of the battery is 6000 mAh. 6000 mAh is the same size of text to do that thing. So, what, how do I ensure that I'm going to copy it? And then edit it to get other things. For our, for our gig RAM, the phone is going to be 4 gig RAM. Plus 32, sorry, 64, 64 gig RAM. Okay. As it's found, we have gotten the same text in the same size. Okay, so this is what we need. Okay, now we'll still copy it again now to get the camera and we edit our camera. Now, our camera is going to be 13 megapixel AI dual rear camera okay so this is what we have okay we bring it down I think we need to bring the camera down so that we can also have this down. Alright. So the test can now go down. Now at this point, you find that the flyer is done. We have given the information required for this. So at this point now, what next can you do? You save your work. Save your work. Yes. Increase it to ultra or very high, depending on where you want. Then you see together with And boom, our design is done. Now please don't forget to subscribe, like the channel if you like this video. Support us by liking the video. And comment on the comment section if there's anything you want us to improve on, anything question you would like to ask, and anything you want us to any video you want us to do next, please say about it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.